Atomos Ninja Assassin is the first Atomos product I've tested where it gives me exactly what I want, not more than I need, at a price that makes sense. It's essentially a decontented version of their Shogun, but it's been decontented in exactly the way it makes sense for me, and I suspect a lot of other Planet 5D readers. Those of us working with DSLRs or ILCs don't really use SDI, unless we happen to have a separate camera with SDI connections. We don't have the projects or the workflow and infrastructure to really take on RAW. And we're looking for accessories which are intuitive, easy to use, and in my case, easy to see. The Assassin covers all the bases. You don't need me to list the specs. Instead, I'm going to offer just a couple of highlights that really have me sold on the Assassin. Sure, it records, but it's got all of the waveforms that you could possibly want. The RGB parade, luminance, vector scopes, it's all there. And there are beautiful on-screen controls for shaping the display. Transparency, brightness, size, location, it just is fantastic. Very intuitive. I did not need to look at the manual, and that means a lot to me. The focus assist is what got me going. Not only does it have one-to-one -one direct pixel mapping, but two-to-one. And the thing that I loved is the combination of blue only and outline focus peaking. You want to do a focus pull? Wow, that's the way to do it. Right now, I have a simple monitor, the Aperture VS2, which I like very much. But at the point at which I start recording externally, something that I will probably do sometime in 2016, the Assassin is number one on my list as the perfect combination of recorder and high-end monitor.